Hello, darlings. Happy Wednesday to you all. Welcome to part two of the Dobsons. So let's build the world. And welcome to a bit more exterior work today, I think. I just went mind blank then. I was like, what exactly are we doing? <laughs> We're doing the garden. We're doing Kylie's garden. Thank you so much for all of your amazing ideas in the last video. I loved reading through those comments. There were so many of them and I'm so thankful for you guys um, getting your imaginations out there. You guys are just amazing storytellers and I'm for it. That's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be concentrating more on the exterior work today and telling a few more tales of Kylie, I imagine. Um, but yes, I'm in a hoodie once again. This has been such a hoodie week for me this week. Honestly, the weather in the southwest of England has been shit it's been raining it's been cold and i don't i don't want to sit here in a t-shirt so i've been in a hoodie like all week long what is that on my hoodie oh oh it's a bit of fluff <laughs> it's a bit it's a small bit of fluff i'll hoover that up later anyway let's get into game back at the jobsons um i've pulled out a few little objects that you guys have all said to sort of bring to the table I just thought they'd match in very, very well. So we're going to crack on. I think this is still looking really cute. I ended up using this little, um, what do you call them? Mailbox. A little mailbox, which was from Nifty Knitting. <laughs> but um, I'm going to say that maybe Red made that for her. Red made this for Kylie. Knows how much that she loves her pink and her colourfulness. And just thought, do you know what? I'm going to make that for her cannot wait to see the dynamic between her and red i think that's going to be such a cute storyline it really really is and i'm for it um i don't know if i want to put this in there i think i'm gonna move this let me get a square let me get the grid on just so i can get a little bit of ground underneath of it there we go yeah that's what i'm gonna do rather than putting that in a planter i'm gonna do it like that kind of moment in fact can i just do like a full four one yeah we'll do that and then i'll plop it straight in the middle then just so there is a palm tree at the front. I just thought that was very Kylie. Very Kylie indeed. Um, so yeah, what I'm going to tell you a little bit of the plan now. Now I've got something in my head for the exterior. So I'm going to have this as an entertaining space at the front. I'm going to have a big entertaining space at the front here with a barbecue. Maybe a little patio table and chairs. Um, obviously a paddling pool. You guys said to get the paddling pool out. So I've pulled out the pink one. A bed for Samson. We're going to move. I've moved that chair. You guys said to move that chair up there. So that's what I've did. I'm going to move the chair there. And Samson's got a little bit of shade then. That he can kind of um, hide away from the hot Willow Creek. Creekian sun. Is that how you say it? It is now. So I'm going to flop Samson's bed there actually. Oh, I'm going to put it at a bit of a jaunty angle. Yes, I am. There we go. That was an accident, but it seems to have worked. I'm for it. Still want to do some stuff up here. Maybe some little details up on the walls or something. Um, so yeah, entertaining space. Little sunbathing space as well. I would imagine she loves to sunbathe quite a bit. I don't know what I'm going to do over here. I might do like a little bit of a... I don't know. A storage area maybe. I have no idea what we're going to do around to this side just yet. It might come to me in this. It might not. At the back here, I want to put a hot tub in. I want to put a nice little hot tub around here. Um, with some more patio space. I think I'm just going to patio this whole area out, to be honest with you. Not that all of it, but quite a substantial amount, like that much, I think. Um, and I'll sort that fence out in a minute. We're going to do a little grove of lemon trees here, where Kylie can make her fresh lemonade and whatnot. I thought that would be a really, really cute idea. And then on this little bit here, I'm going to do a veg patch. So we're going to do a really nice little vegetable patch where Kylie grows all of her own veg and She's very much for it. Um, so yes, that's it. That's what's happening. So I'm going to start off by doing the entertaining space, I think. So this is a uh, pool that Kylie... Can dogs get in this? Can dogs get in the paddling pool? That would be cool if they could. But I can't remember if they can or not. Um, I'm unsure. I am completely unsure. I do not know. Um, you'll have to let me know, guys. Okay, so we've got sun lounges there. I'm going to put this coffee table in the middle of the sun lounges i think so they've got a nice bit of space where they can um put their drinks on and whatnot not in that color though do we have a pink version of that i don't want it in the blue i just want like a pinkish um 
version of the tablecloth on the front of it. Yes, I do. I, do, I can't do it. <laughs> I mean, that's not exactly it either, but I think that one there would probably be the best, to be honest. Yes, I'm going to do that there. I'm going to flop some plants down by the side of here as well. Um, trying to go for plants that I'm not... I'm bored of using the same plants. I keep using the same ones over and over again, and I'm bored of it. So I'm trying to mix things up and using stuff that I don't really tend to use all that much. Oh, these could be cute, though. Oh, yeah, these would look really cute out here. Let's put a few of these up. Little hanging flower baskets. They are up a bit high, actually. I'm going to move them down to, like, about there. Oh! Move them down to, like, there. Yes. Um, Thank you to you guys that came to the stream yesterday <laughs> for Resident Evil. I had so much fun with that game. It was a... It was a hoot. It was a hoot. I'm really, really enjoying it. Um, Playing it again tonight, if you guys want to come along. 7 p.m. GMT. I just want to, I wanted to say that because... I had so much fun. I always do have fun with you guys live. But um, yesterday it was absolutely hysterical. It really, really was. Oh, I never tend to use these because they are quite garish. But I think it would kind of suit Kylie's vibe, wouldn't it? Having a few little pink flower. But oh, they're very pink, though. If you got like a different color, orange would probably look better, actually. Orange would probably look a little bit better. Or at least yellow. What was that other one? The orange one. Yeah, I like the orange. We're going to go for that one. That one and that one there. Yeah, that suits it a bit more. I mean, we're going to be all about the pink here, but we don't have to go too OTT with it, you know? You know, we've got to, like, at least rein it in a little bit sometimes. That's just the way that things have got to be. Yes. And I'm thinking about putting a little... um flower box underneath of here as well or at least sizing two of them down and then doing two either side like one there and then one ah oh, can you overlap without glitching out yeah it doesn't really glitch out too badly um that's not directly in the middle though and i know people will shit themselves in the comments so i i will sort that out for you now yeah that's cute yeah i like that little area that's looking better it's getting more details on here isn't it darling so storylines um i loved so many of your guys ideas i loved the fact that a few of you fought uh the same as me where kylie was the cheerleader and she fell in love with a footballer um he was a bit of an asshole and then maybe it was a bit of like a prom night baby i'm kind of feeling that idea he didn't want anything to do with the baby because um he had a scholarship to a, a prestigious college and his parents thought that Kylie was a bad idea. So he kind of like almost paid her off, really. Almost paid her off. Um, gave her some money, much to Kylie's to say she did not want his money. But she thought, you know what, if it's going to give me and my child a good start in life, I'm going to think of my child. I'm going to do it. So she did. She managed to buy a house. She had a house. Um, there, This is not where... Um, Kylie and her son like, lived, if you know what I mean. This was always her own. She bought this off of her own, from her own money from selling up her house and stuff. I reckon they still maybe lived in Willow Creek. Maybe not. Maybe more like Oasis Springs or something. Maybe they lived in Oasis Springs. Um, and they moved to Willow Creek just for a bit of a better life. Uh, because they hated how small mindset people were in Willow Creek. Loving that idea. Um, so yes, that's a bit of the storyline with Kylie. And one of you guys had a brilliant idea as well with Kylie and Akito, because Akito obviously comes ran away from home because he um was gay, had a broken family life and whatnot. And Kylie kind of mothered him, always baking him stuff and making sure he's eaten and making sure he's like looking after himself. That's just Kylie all over. I can completely imagine that. And um that's where she met red red like instantly was attracted obviously she's a beautiful beautiful person but it took kylie a little bit of a time you know to trust red and think do you know what actually he's a really he's a good he's a good one he's a good one and now they're just very much in love very much in love but kylie's kind of very fiercely independent i would imagine very fiercely independent and she's a bit worried about not giving up her home life to like have red move in or anything but she's just happy with the way that things are going and she doesn't want to kind of break it up you know and red can only respect that really red respects it 
as he would because he's an absolute beaut. Um, and that's the storyline with them too. I'm looking forward to seeing where they would go though. Imagine them having their own little homestead together, her and Red. Oh, they could have babies. It could be amazing. And, and I've kind of changed my thoughts on Kylie's age. Not much. I reckon she's just in her kind of like early 40s rather than late 40s. Um, main reasons being I was thinking about the uh, her son's character and I was like, well, I'm kind of seeing him in his kind of like early 20s, 22, 23 kind of age. Um, so that's where we're going to go with that. Yes. Yes, we are. That is the vibe. We're doing it. Okay, we've got a little veg patch going on there. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to have that whole area as a veg patch. I am. And I'm going to bring this little flowered number over. Oh, maybe I don't need to. Maybe we could just put it either side here. I'm not going to do this white fence on this side here. I just wanted this white fence to kind of mark off the veg patch area. I'm going to use this border all the way along this as well. Just so it's a little bit different as well, you know. All the way along there. And I'm thinking about doing a hedge all the way down here. All the way down here. All the way down here. <laughs> thinking about doing a hedge all the way down there. So that's what we're going to do. Yes, we are. Right, let's get rid of that. Stunning. We'll do some nice um, bushes and stuff there, I think. Nice veg patch. And then obviously we need to do a little lemon tree grove. I really wanted the lemon tree to be, just be in the ground. But... um. That one weirdly doesn't go in there. And the only ones that do, is that a lemon tree? That is. They don't like go into the ground. I'm weirded out by that. I don't understand why that is. Don't understand why that is. And there's another one that I could have put in this lemon tree, which does go into ground, but it's not grown yet. And I want them to be grown. I want it to look pretty. So I'm just going to keep them in pots, loves. So that was the, the hardest way to just go around saying I'm going to keep my lemon trees in pots. But that's what we're going to do. Yes, we are. Right. I think maybe four or five. Four or five lemon trees would be perfect. <gasps> oh, I also had a thought. I know I said I was going to be moving a Karen into this lot. But I was thinking about what about a Dave? What about a Dave? What about going for a problematic male sim living next door? Because as we all know, males are problematic in themselves. So why don't we get a problematic male sim living next door? Maybe older, really grouchy, ha hates the fact that, I don't know, Kylie's so lovely and she's liked by everybody and he's not. I'm kind of for that idea. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to have a problematic male sim called Dave. Dave's moving in. Sorry to all you Daves out there, but um, that's just what's happening. Yes, it is. Anyway, so I want different soil. I want the garden bedlam soil to be on the actual veg patch itself. So I'm going to do this all the way around here. Um, I don't even need to change the softness either. We can just do that all the way around, my love. And here as well. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And then on the actual like sort of landscaping, we're going to go a little bit more darker with it, to be honest. So I'm going to put this soil on this bit here. We'll put a nice flower bed in there. And the same going up here too. Oh, do you know what? I'm going to carry that on. Those sidewalk slabs all the way around, darling. All the way to the edge. There we go. And then I can just happily paint in the soil here then. But yes, that is what is happening. So yeah, I can't wait. Maybe the next part of this, I'll get red and hair together and you can kind of see them too having a little moment or something together. Not that kind of moment, you filthy bastards. I know exactly what you're thinking. And I'm for it. I really am. And I'm proud of you for going down that debauchery route. But that's just not what we're going to be doing today, darlings. <laughs> no, it's not. Do I want to get pink flowers? Oh, I think we need to. I think it would be rude if we didn't. Um, and we've kind of used these flowers in a lot of the builds in this save file as well. So it's kind of like, you know, a native Willow Creek hedge or something. Um, I'm for that. For that idea, really am. I'm not going to use them all the way down though. I'm going to break it up with just some green hedges too, I think. Just so it doesn't look too repetitive. Is that flopping through the gate there? It's not. Perfect. And then mixing in just like a normal green hedge in with it as well. Yes. Yes, that's a vibe. That is a vibe that I'm for. Uh, let me just see that. Yeah, but I think I need to do like maybe one more down here just at the end. Just at the end. And I was thinking this space here is probably going to be better as the dining. Well, not dining, but like entertaining space. So I think that's what I'm going to do. 
And I was thinking maybe I could pull another little like roof line across here. So it was kind of undercover like here. But I don't know. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe so. But I don't know. I just don't know. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're going to do that. That's happening. Okay, so, so. Let's carry on with the space here. and making this space look a little bit nicer in itself, shall we? So, I do think we need some more flowers. We need something here as well. Um, Maybe a bench there. Oh, yeah. Really cute white bench would look lovely there. Uh, let's get rid of debug and live edit for the minute. We'll sort out the garden or the veg patch in a second. But, um... I'm thinking bench. I am. A white bench. Maybe just like a simple one like this would look really cute. Or maybe like just slightly darker. Yeah, like that. Or even grey. No, I think it needs to be white. I think we'll go for that. Like not too... That's like a light grey. Yeah, that one there. Well, it's white, but you know. It's light grey on The Sims. Swatch. You know... I'm going to do that. Yes. And now what I need to get is I need to go and pull out some leafy boys and stuff. Because we need to try and start mapping in the kind of plants that we've got around in this world a little better. Um, So I'm going to go in and find some leafy boys. Give me a sec. Okay, we've pulled out some beautiful little plants here. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to start flopping these around, my darlings. Yes, we are. Ah, oh, there were so many of you in the comments there that resonated with... um. That kind of southern... A lot of you were saying somebody from High School Musical. I, I've never watched that. I wouldn't know. So I couldn't agree with you on that. Um, <laughs> but there was one of you in the comments that said, um, I need to watch these two films. And they are two of my all-time favourite films. I've seen them plenty of times. And that is Steel Magnolias and Fried Green Tomatoes at Whistle Stop Cafe. My fucking God, that film. That film makes me sob. Who's seen Fried Green Tomatoes at Whistle Stop Cafe? If you have not seen it, go and watch it instantly and report back to me and let me know what you thought. Honestly, one of the best films ever. What In my top 10 films of all time, Fried Green Tomatoes. Without a doubt, so is Steel Magnolias. Absolutely love Steel Magnolias. There's a part in Steel Magnolias that is probably one of the best bit of acting I've ever seen. And it was, I won't spoil it just in case anybody hasn't seen it. But it's a part where um, someone passes away and Sally Field is at their funeral and she just kind of like the grief that comes out of this part when all of her friends are around her and she's like really angry at the fact that somebody has died. Like I've never seen someone cry that well or they, I could just feel her grief. Oh, oh my god, that part gets me every single fucking time. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it. Please go and watch Steel Magnolias as well. And report back to me with that as well. That is your homework. I've set you homework. I want you to go and watch them. I think you guys would love it. You really would. Um, But yeah. Dolly Parton's in it as well. Iconic. Daryl Hannah, I think, is in it as well. Yeah, I think Daryl Hannah is in it. Yes. Um, Julia Roberts. I mean, Julia Roberts. That's all I need to say. That is all I need to say. And it's bloody Julia Roberts. Once again, got an itchy bloody nose, you know? And it's making me fume. Yes, that looks cute. I'm happy with how that looks there. We do need some flamingos though, because it would be wrong if we didn't put some flamingos in. Um, Lawn flamingo. In flowers? Lawn flamingo. Pink... Flamingo lawn decoration. There we are. Oh, yes. Oh, she'd be all about it. She'd be absolutely all about it. I'm going to put a few of these around. I'll put two like that. <gasps> a little bird bath in here as well. And a bird house. Let me find them. I've just bought out a whole collection of things, to be honest with you. Um, I bought out the bird feeder just so because it would look cute to have some birds actually flying around this area. With a little birdhouse as well. I wish this object kind of acted like this. Like it attracted birds to it. Um, kind of human it doesn't. Red made this for her. Obviously. Because it's gorgeous. It's pink. It's what she wanted. And we're going to get two little flamingos out here as well. I might add another little flamingo. Like in 
by the um, actual palm tree itself as well. Not weirdly poking out from a leaf because that looks very strange. Um, like there. Oh, she loves that. Very, <laughs> very much loves that one. She does. Uh, and I'm going to do another one of these on the other side, but I'm going to size it down, I think. Uh, and just plonk you around there, love. Oh, I'm for it. This is looking really cute. I love how cute this is looking. Yes. So she's got a little, like, lounging area here where she can just come and lounge down. And I reckon the boys would all walk past and see her in a paddling pool in a lovely bikini and have a little nose in um, over the fence. Which Kylie doesn't mind. She's like, do you know what? Boys will be boys. <laughs> That's, there's another southern accent for you. You're welcome, by the way. Absolutely welcome. Somebody said I should get like a glass sliding door here. And I'm kind of feeling that idea now that I'm looking. So maybe I should put in a little glass sliding door. Uh, maybe just using the base game one as well, like this. Do you know what I mean? I think that might look quite cute, actually. Let me see. Yeah, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. And the amount of light that we can get in here is um, a bit better as well, actually, isn't it? Having a big glass slidey door there. Oh, for it. We still need to put some lighting up here as well. Light that area. Uh, but let's start on the entertaining space itself. Now, I don't know what I want to do. I think I want to put... I do want a table. Or shall I do like a little like a bar moment? I don't know. I need to think. Okay, this is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do. Yes, we are. I'm going to put the barbecue here. So she can, they can still, whoever's on the barbecue themselves can still entertain here if people are on the sun lounges. And then I've used this table here, which is base game, I think, isn't it? Isn't this table base game? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, but I've used it in this like pink with those fancy tiles. And then I'm going to use these um, base game chairs there as well just putting it in this orientation so they still got a little bit of space here that they can walk through to get off to the side here i'm kind of for that i really am and i think up here we'll put like a wind chime i could probably put some more of these flowers as well actually let's put a little one up there and a little one there too i'm for that that looks very cute very cute indeed um and let's get some wind chime wind chimes there we go outdoor activities and i'll flop these up probably going to go for aluminium aluminium yes we are and i use you in an, an orangey tone as well i'll flop you to about there yes oh, i'm for it absolutely for that and do you know what would look nice up in here just a, a nice little no not decoration a little lantern a little lantern um Maybe like something like maybe just the uh, this one here. Oh, I hate the colors of that, though. Oh, we'll just do a green where they could come and sit out and play some cards or something. I mean, they can't really play cards on the table here. Could get a card table out, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to. Um, I'm going to flop these beneath the windows here. She's all about a flower. She does love her flowers. Shall I size them down? Because the other ones are quite small. Um, Yeah, I sized these down, didn't I? And what I'll do is I'll just put two, but like in the middle like that. That looks weird. I'm going to put either one like that. That's better. Yes. And I do want to do some storage. I want some like storage cabinet or something out here. But let me find something. Okay. I've pulled out this little thing here. I know it's not storage. Um, I've put a storage box here. More things to come over here in a minute. We're going to get there in a second. So I've put the storage like around there. Is that the toilet there? I think it is, isn't it? Um, this is going to be going over the hot tub anyway. And I'm going to do a bar back here. I'm going to do a small little bar area where she comes and has a few drinks with everybody. They come over and have a little bit of a party, a bit of a soiree. Um... So I'm for it. I'm for it. So this is the toilet. So I do want some vents back here. I need to get some more of these vents here. Back in this little area here. So I'm going to pop one just above there. Um, Yes, I am. I'm going to move that window up slightly. There's the like bar backdrop. So I do want to like do like a small little bar here. And then we'll put a hot tub under here. 
But what I was thinking around here was just adding in some more um, flower pots. Just putting a few more flower pots around, darlings. I think she would enjoy that. Um, I'm really loving this character. I'm really feeling Kylie. I am. I'm feeling her. That sounds filth. Not that way. Because, um, yes, that would be wrong. And um, make sure you get consent, please, before you do anything like that. Thank you very much. Talking to you males out there. You straight males. I don't think there's many straight males that watch me. There are some. There are strum. Strum. Any male. Anybody. Just get consent. Thank you. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. I'm going to put some of these holdings above here as well. I'm going to flop one above each window there. Oh, for that area. I'm very much for that. That's the screenshot right there. Where did I take it from last time? It was over that side. So yeah, that is the screenshot right there, darlings. Yeah, that looks cute. We've still got to get some lighting in this area, but we'll do that in a bit. Let's concentrate on the bar area, and then we're going to whip round, finish off this bit here, and then also do the veg patch garden as well. Um, but I've enjoyed this. I've really, really enjoyed doing this build. I loved, I've loved it. Do I want to get some more windows on this side as well? Like just two more? Like maybe like there and there? I think that could be quite cute actually. Let me see that. Yes, I do think we will. Now let's get a hot tub out. Now I don't want the hot tub to look too bougie. I want to use this one here probably. Um, and just maybe in a white. Could look quite nice. Oh, do you, do you know what? I think it will. I'm going to flop you underneath there and then put this round about there, I think. Oh, it would be nice if I could central this underneath of the window, which I'm probably going to do now. And then that will give us a bit more space with the bar area as well, to be honest. I can't see. There we go. Yeah, that's cute. That's cute. Needs a nice little flower pot down there. I think I'm going to use those same flower pots that we used around here. And plonk one down in the corner there. Stunning. Oh, for it. Needs a nice little bamboo rug underneath of here. Um, I'll use you in a grey, actually. Let's get some... Oh, that's quite a dark grey. We'll just do white. We'll just do these just in front of the hot tub. They don't slip when they get out or whatnot. Yeah, that's very cute. Now, let's find a nice bar. So, it just needs to be... Oh, do you know what? Something like this. But I don't think they can put stools on this bit. I don't know. I could be wrong in thinking that. But I don't think they can. I'm going to trial it. Um, Movers and Shakers portable bar with lights. I mean, if it's got lights on and Kylie would be all about that, to be honest. Can we get bar stools on these ones? No, we can't. No. Um, I want bar stools there, to be honest with you. So maybe that's not the right bar. So what bar shall we use? Do you know what? Screw it. I'm going to use this one. I am going to use it. I think it looks cute. Uh, we're going to put some colored lights on it, though. And I am going to fashion it in a little bit more to around about like there. Like that. And then my thoughts were maybe putting like a small little table here under a parasol would be cute you know and i could use a little bit more of a pinky vibe on that as well then yes yeah i think so but i'm not going to use the same chairs as what i've used up there and um, that's a bit more of the eating area this is a bit more of the drinking area so i'm going to use the fold out um dining chairs i think Do they, i think they have got a pink one haven't they <gasps> shall we do it I'm going to do it. Kylie would be made up with that. Absolutely made up. I am going to put it in that angle though, I think. And just whiffle it into the corner a little bit more. Yes. Yes, she would be all about it. Oh, she would. She would absolutely be, absolutely be about that. Very much would. Um, and I'm going to flop in one of these just underneath of this window here. Slice it down, obviously. Yes, that's cute. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's a nice little area for them all to hang out and whatnot there now. Oh, I'm for it. Very much for it. Right. Mm. I almost don't want to use grass here now. Now that I've used... um, I'm going to do that, I think. I'm going to make that whole area a little bit more of a patio area rather than um, having it 
grass. I'm going to do it. I am going to do it. I'm going to whiffle this all the way along to there. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That looks better. I do prefer that. And she's got a nice little grove for her lemon trees and whatnot there as well. So over this side, I do want to put a hose on the wall here. Hose. Wall-mounted garden hose reel. Thank you. Um, Yep, there we go. We'll plop for you to there. So she can water her bits and bobs. I may do like a little flower arranging table here as well. So there is another point of gameplay around this area. I am going to do it. I am. You fucking watch me, darlings. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do a flower arranging table. I'll put it directly underneath this window as well, I think. Mm-hmm. Let me, let me get it out. I'm going to flop it out. Flower arranging. Flower arranging. Compendium? No. What? Let me find it. Here it is. I found it. Um, It's not called that. It's called a violet, a blue flower. Oh, it's called flower arranging. Why didn't that show up in text search then? Weird. Uh, maybe I didn't text search it. <laughs> oh, well. I found it now, so it doesn't really matter. I'm going to flop you to there, actually. I'm going to put you there. And then I'm going to move the hose to there, like that. So she's got a little moment where she can come... Play around with her flowers and whatnot. Oh, for it. Yes, that's cute. That's cute. And I'm just going to pop a couple more of these. Oh, no, in fact, I'm just going to do one there. I'm just going to put one there just to decorate that area a little bit more. Stunning. Yes. And then, what, is it in season? Did that say in season? Oh, it's in season. Cool. Okay. And now I'm going to pick out some veg to grow here now it is summer and i always struggle at finding the right stuff to use for the right season so let me go and find it okay lovelies we're back we're back things have been planted they all appear to be growing fine as well red and the lovely kylie are here together i couldn't not get them i just wanted to see what they would look like together and i love them i absolutely love them she's whipping up some chicken skewers so what I did was plant, managed to plant stuff that actually grows in the summer as well. So she's got a little veg patch going on now too. Popped out a couple more bows here as well. Look at Red. Look at him for it. I mean, he's having the time of his life. Look, look. <laughs> he is for this, this pink palace. This pink palace is absolutely here for him. I'm going to call him to a meal. Maybe they can sit down and have something together gonna come down you're gonna come down darling you're gonna go and sit over there with her as well i mean i'm for this i'm absolutely for this i need them to have a kid together i think we need to make that happen don't we <laughs> we really need to make that happen so yeah the garden area is semi done to be honest with you i did a bit of terrain painting as well off of camera and lit at the actual house up itself so this place will all be lit at night and I'm just for it. Where are you going, Red? Where are you going? Is he going to sit? Oh, he's going to sit down there. He's going to sit down there. Or is he going to give Sam... Oh, oh, oh. He's good, Samson. You'll like him. You will like him. Well, there we go. So we're done with the exterior for the Dobson. Well, part, part of the exterior, because we've still got to do this exterior yet for Dave's house. But um, I'll be back with this. Um... I don't know. I may leave the Potter project for next week and I may be back with this tomorrow to start on the exterior because I'm having so much fun with this build. Um, or there may be a Potter project coming tomorrow and we'll just continue with this on Monday or something. That will probably be the way. But yeah, very excited. So there we are, my dears. Part two of the Dobsons, Kylie Dobsons. We are done for today and we're done with the exterior as well. So yeah, I'm having so much fun with this build. I really, really am. It's, um, I don't know. I like doing this kind of character building thing. It's just, it's my shit. It really is. So this might be back tomorrow, but it most probably will be back on Monday because I would love to do a little bit more with the Potter project. Um, But who can say? I may even bring this out tomorrow. I have no idea. We're just going to see where it takes us. But yes, I'm going to leave it there for today. Um, Come and join me on Twitch tonight, 7 p.m. to get your tits scared off if you would like. But if not, I'll see you all tomorrow with a video of some description. Goodbye.